Hi YouTube, this is Mike Shackelford, also known as the Wizard of Odds, and I'm here today to teach you how to play Crazy Four Poker. And I will be doing it on my demo game on my website, Wizard of Odds. And I'm really proud of this game. Not only is it fun to play, but it will also teach you to play better. Right above the game is this box that if you check, it will warn you if you make a mistake and give you an opportunity to change your mind. And the strat and it gives advice based on the optimal strategy. So you will be trained how to play properly on this demo game. So real briefly, the object of the game is to be have a better four card poker hand than the dealer. Both player and dealer will each initially receive five cards and make his best four card poker hand. Now, much like some other poker-based games, the player must start by making equal bets on the ante and another bet, which in this case is called the super bonus. To use the demo game, click on a chip and then click ante, which places that bet in the appropriate circle and it automatically matches it with an equal super bonus bet and then click deal. So here is my, my hand the game automatically scores it and grays out the card I will not be using to maximize the value of my best four card hand. In this case, it's a pretty lousy hand, only a jack high. Now, the decision before me right now is to fold or raise. If I make a raise bet, I would put an equal bet to my ante here in the play circle and then go against the dealer. However, with only a jack high, the odds favor folding. If I were to make the play bet, I would on average lose more than the $200 I'm losing by folding. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's try again. Okay, here I have a pair of deuces and this is worth making the play bet. So I'm gonna click that and Here's what happened. The, as it says on the felt here, the dealer needs at least a queen high, I mean, excuse me, a king high to open or qualify. If the dealer does not qualify, then the ante bet will automatically push and then you will still go against the dealer. So I beat the dealer, my pair of deuces beats the dealer's jack high so my play bet wins, even money, the ante was a push, and the super bonus is also a push. So that's why I won back $100. And I'll, I'll explain the super bonus a little bit later, but briefly, if you beat the dealer with less than a straight, that is just a push. That's kind of where they get you on this game. So let's try another hand. Okay, here I have a pair of tens. That's also worth making the raise bet. And the dealer does qualify, this time with a pair of fives. My pair of tens beats the dealer's pair of fives. So here's what happened there. My ante and play each pay even money, and my super bonus is a push. Again, because it is n it's less, my hand is less than a straight. So this wins 100, and this wins, my play bet wins 100. That's why my win here was $200. So let's go again. Only this time I'm gonna make this queens up side bet. Normally it pains me to make side bets, but because it's for play money and I'm trying to teach you the game, I'll throw the minimum $5 on that. And that is a side bet that pays based only on the player's hand. It doesn't need to beat the dealer to win. So here I have a king high. At this point, let me tell you the strategy of the game, which is really simple. The best hand, or should I say the lowest hand that is raise worthy is king, queen, eight, four. So is my hand better than king, queen, eight, four? No, it is not. I do have the king, but my second highest card is only a jack. It would need to be a queen for me to consider raising. So because it is barely under that borderline case, I am going to fold. 
So that's why I won nothing. So let's try again. Pair of tens, that's definitely raise worthy. The dealer has a pair of sevens, which loses to my pair of tens. That's why I win. So my ante and play each win $100. The super bonus is a push because it's less than a straight. And my queens up is a loss because that needs to be a pair of queens or better to pay something. So let's go again. Here I've got ace high. As I mentioned before, the borderline hand to make the raise bet is king queen eight four. So with an ace high is good enough to raise and I win. The dealer does qualify with that king high. So my ace high beats the dealer's king high. So my ante and play each win $100. Again, the super bonus is a push because I have less than a straight and I the queens up is a loss again because I don't have at least a pair of queens. P another pair of tens, let's do the same thing. My tens beats the uh, dealer's deuces, so again I win $200 for exactly the same reason as the last hand. Ace high, as I mentioned before, that is worth raising. I lose to the dealer's pair of fives, so I lost everything. A straight to the ace. Now, this is definitely worth raising, and the game lets you make a bigger raise with at least a pair of aces. It lets you bet up to three times your ante, which you always should do. If the game lets you bet 3x, you always should. Never bet this 2x. Absolutely never. There's no situation where you should. So I'm going to make the full 3x raise. Okay, so my straight beats the dealer's pair of aces. I win $515, and let me explain to you how my wins on these four different bets add up to 515. The ante and the play always pay even money. I had 100 on the ante, 300 on the play, so that adds up to 400 in winnings. And the rules to the super bonus are a little bit more involved, so let me go over that right now. If the player has a straight or better, then the super bonus automatically wins according to this pay table here. With a straight or better, the player does not need to beat the dealer. That's one of those crazy rules about crazy four poker. However, with less than a straight, the player must beat or tie the dealer to push. If the player loses to the dealer with three of a kind or less, then the super bonus is a loss. So the super bonus is, is a lousy bet. It's and that's where they get you on this game by forcing you to make it equal to the ante. And the queen's up bet, as I mentioned before, that's a side bet that pays based only on the player's hand. So you can see on the pay table here that a straight pays three to one. I had a $5 bet here, so that won $15. So I won 100 here on the ante, 300 on the play, 100 on the super bonus, because a straight there pays one to one, and 15 on my queens up. So that all adds up to 515. Here is another hand that is close to the borderline. As a reminder, the lowest hand that you should raise on is king queen eight four. So because king jack eight six is less than that minimum raising hand, the correct play is to fold. And let me illustrate to you the feature of the game that corrects you when you make a mistake. So suppose I did click the raise button you can see that this pop-up box warns me that it is not the best play. Uh, do I want to continue? Uh, I'm going to press cancel because I do not want to continue and I want to change my mind. So now I'm going to click fold and the game proceeds. So here's a nice hand. I have a three of a kind. So of course I am going to make the big three X raise. Again, you should every time the game lets you, and I win. My three eights beats the dealer's three threes. You can see I won $640 over 505 bet. That comes from winning $100 on my ante, 300 on the play, and the super bonus with a three of a kind pays two to one. So I had 100 here, so that wins 200. And the queen's up for a three of a kind, that pays eight to one. 
So again, I want 100 here, 300 here, 200 here, and 40 here. That all adds up to this win of 640. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of Crazy Four Poker and you understand the rules and the strategy to it. So let me end this video by showing you some other resources I have about Crazy Four Poker at Wizard of Odds. So as usual, I start out by just explaining the rules and then I go over the strategy, which in this game is quite easy. To summarize, make the large raise with the pair of aces or higher. Otherwise, make the small raise with king, queen, eight, four, or higher, and otherwise fold. And then I go through all the math of the game, analyzing all three major bets. And when it's all said and done, the bottom line shows negative 3.42%, what I would call the house advantage. And that is the ratio of how much the player can expect to lose on everything to his ante wager. For example, if you bet $100 on the ante and then play properly, you can expect to lose $3.42. But don't let that be a good estimator of the value of the game. Between the ante, the super bonus, and the play, the player will have bet 3.14 times his ante bet by the end of the hand. By the way, I love the number 3.14. So the element of risk of the game which is the ratio of how much the player can expect to lose to everything he bets, which I think is an appropriate estimator of the value of any casino game, we get 3.42% divided by 3.14, which equals 1.09%, which ain't bad. It's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. Uh, it is better than most casino games out there. So if you're looking for a game with a good value with a really easy strategy, it's hard to beat Crazy Four Poker. And then I go over um, the queen's upside bet, and there's different pay tables to it. So while I recommend you avoid all side bets in every game, be aware that there's different side bets, I mean different pay tables. The one on my website has the most liberal one, but most casinos follow stingier pay tables. And then there's some other side bets that you sometimes see at certain casinos. So that about does it for Crazy Four Poker. That is all the important details. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I welcome your comments in the comments section. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, YouTube.